Yep. Seems not very responsive. Extremely high frame rate. It's weird, you know. This game is has some sort of weird physics behavior for spin dash. Like, if you render around like, like more than 400 FPS, yeah. See, 470, 460 FPS. It, it just misses the my input. When no matter how fast I press my keyboard, it just doesn't fe feel responsive. See, let me demonstrate to you. See, really slow. That's not good. That's not what it's supposed to be like, you know, compared to the original a 2D pixel sprite game. See? See? It's not responsive. Not good. Okay. If you counter this weird physics behavior from Steam, then I highly recommend just use a uh, frame rate limiter. You can use like a, a Riva Tuner a statistics server, which I have it right here. Yep, it's free. You know, of course, you have to use an MSI Afterburner to turn on the uh, overlay. So uh, make sure you add this game, you know, the Sonic Superstars executable file. Um, so, like, frame rate limit is set to 60 frames per second. Hit enter, then go back to the game. See, now you just look at the counter. It's now render at 60 frames per second. Okay, so let me demonstrate to you. Let me restart. Okay, see, now you notice that I can now spin dash a lot quicker. It's 60 frames per second. See, really fast. Sure, you might like some animation smoothness, but it does feel noticeably responsive. Yeah, it's just it's just weird when it comes to the, uh, 3D Sonic games. You know, I just don't know why it doesn't it misses my input at high, extremely high frame rate. All right, let me let me go back again. Okay, see, I can reach up top a lot higher now. Okay, now let me show you my keyboard. Okay, let me start at the beginning. Spin dash. Bam, look at that, see? It goes way faster. That's 60 FPS. I did try 120 FPS. It's okay, but it slightly misses my input. There's, there's some slight uh, input delays. No matter how fast you you, you press the uh, the jump button, perform spin dash. So, what does this mean? Well, a 60 FPS is is recommended if you want to spin dash faster. Although there's a trade off, you know, you just it just lacks uh, animation smoothness. But if you go like 120 FPS or more than like 400 FPS, yeah, it, it does look smoother. But the only downside is that it, there, there's a, imp, a lot of input delays when you spin dash so that's is on entirely up to you you know just you know go back to your graphics options you know set to frame rate limit to 60 fps or you could use a third party software to limit the frame which i recommend use a reboot tuner statistics server it's a lot easier to change the frame rate so yeah it's it's up to you you want to go faster 60 fps is is better for most speedrunners but if you want more animation smoothness, yeah, go with more than 120 for FPS. So um, with that, you know, yeah, this game is just has some weird, you know, game physics behavior when it comes down to the spin dash on Steam.